Right, so I would like to share with you this uh, little experiment uh, using some playing cards. Uh, I'm just going to give them a bit of a shuffle. This is quite an interesting one. Just using a, actually just a few cards. We only need, let's see, that one, take that one, those ones, I suppose. A couple of those. So we've got some red cards and some black cards. And this is a bit like oil and water. And I'm sure you've heard that a classic kind of science experiment that they can't actually mix. So what you would do, you would take four red ones, four black ones. Take a red one, then a black one, red, black, red, black, red, black. Mix them up. Obviously, you can still see that they are indeed mixed. But uh, the, uh, the moment you leave them alone for a bit, it takes about four seconds. There's one, two, three, four, which is four cards, you should see that these are now indeed all of the red cards. And these ones here are now all of the black cards. I'll show you that again, but I'll break it down, make it a bit easier to follow. So if you just get rid of uh, one of each, and so now we've just got three reds and three blacks. Take a red one, a black one, a red one, a black one, a red one, a black one. Leave with one, two, three seconds, because it's three cards, you should now see that it will separate it again. I'll break it down even further to make it even easier to follow. Get rid of another two cards. So this time we've got it down to the bare minimum. Just two black cards and two red cards. So we take the two uh, red ones like this, mix them up with the black ones. So we've got red, black, red, black. And this time, because there's only two cards, it takes only about two seconds. You can see that it have now separated again. When they say, though, that oil and water can't actually mix, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a lie, actually, because they, they can mix. If you, if you take the cards like this, I mean, with the red ones on top of the black ones, nothing in between the black ones, and if you stick them like this and you shake them, you can actually see how they actually begin to mix. So you've got red, black, red, black. And that's just with a, a couple of cards. The interesting thing, though, really is when you leave the deck alone for well, some time. This should have worked as well. So first, spread these. You can see that they are now separated into blacks and reds.